Hey there Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back. Pisces, this is going to be a love reading for you for March. See what's going on with Pisces energy. For March 2023. Okay, let's get into your energy. What's going on for Pisces? Okay, Pisces showing up right away. The moon. I feel like something's kind of hidden at the moment. I feel like you're trying to figure things out. You're really trying to figure out a situation that you may be dealing with. Okay? Um, but I feel like your intuition is pretty high, but... I feel like your emotions are pretty intense at the moment. If you are open to love, Pisces, I feel like, you know, there is someone who's thinking about you. Someone who's very curious about your situation. I feel like they're, they're yearning to find out more. Okay? Um, this King of Cups energy... Oh, wow. Okay. We have the Empress. So definitely someone wants to, someone wants to love and nurture you. And look what we got on the bottom. Ten of Pentacles energy. Someone is wanting to create a very happy situation for you. Someone finds a, va a lot of value in you, Pisces. Someone is definitely thinking about you, wondering how you're doing. This could be someone uh, that you know, someone who maybe has a crush on you, um, could be someone from the past, one of your past loves. But with this moon card here, I'm really feeling like this is someone new. This is new energy, okay? This is someone who really wants to find out more about you. They want to create some kind of new beginning with you. Um, for some of you Pisces, if you are looking to start a family, I feel like this is a great time for you to start a family. If you're not ready to start a family, I would take precautions because I feel like during this month, Pisces, I feel like a lot of things are opening up. You're very fertile, very open to new create. You're open to new creation. There we go, the magician. Definitely someone new coming in. Someone new. This is a new energy. But I feel like you or this person is, you know, they're so deep in thought. I feel like this new situation, they're trying to either manifest you in their life or you're trying to manifest someone into your life. Uh, but I feel like there's someone who's yearning. To know more about you. They're very curious. Okay. We have the three of cups. So. Um, you may be very social at the moment Pisces. You may be around people. Around friends. Around family. Um, around your soul tribe here. We have the eight of swords. Someone doesn't have the confidence to approach you. They're lacking the confidence to ask you the important questions. But they value you. They, they want to hold their feelings close to them because they don't want anybody to know at the moment. 
Um, but they really, really are crushing on you, Pisces. And I feel like they're, they're caught up in this intense moments of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> of, you know, really thinking about you, missing you so very much. So this could very well be someone from the past, someone that you do have some kind of connection with, because I feel like this person, they're missing you. They're, this is someone that really wants a connection, really wants a connection with Pisces, okay? They're ready to go on this new beginning, this new journey. They want to start this new life with Pisces. Okay. Very intense. They're constantly thinking about you. They're deep in thought. You know, they think about how it would be to be with you. How you would react. How their life would be. You know, I feel like they're they're caught in these thoughts and emotions that is bringing more of an attachment to you actually because with the full card here I feel like this person is ready to take that leap but there's something holding them back there's some kind of confidence issue maybe their self-esteem isn't as high as it should be but I feel like there's something holding them back there's some reason why they're not able to come forward to you Okay, let's get, let's get some messages from this person. Spirit, what would this person say to Pisces? What's on this person's mind? What are they thinking about when they think of Pisces? What do they want to say to Pisces? I will wait for a sign from you. So I feel like this person is really waiting for you to make the first move. They're waiting to see if you are attracted to them. If you, you know, maybe have some kind of interest to know them a little bit better. I, I feel like this person is waiting for you to make that first move. Although they're thinking about you, I feel like their confidence isn't strong enough to come forward. Okay, but they have a lot of emotion and they definitely want to create something meaningful with you, Pisces. I am becoming a better person. So I feel like this person may be working on their confidence issues. They may be working on certain situations to build up their confidence. They may be changing their look. Um, changing their dress, changing how they approach you. I feel like when this person comes into a room, you can see it in their eyes, the way that they look at you. You know, I feel like there's an intensity there. Um, if that gives you any indication, Pisces. Okay. The timing just wasn't right for us. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person is waiting for the opportune moment to come into approaching you with some kind of offer, some kind of invitation. Because they're actively working on, you know, the way they feel about themselves because you bring some kind of emotion to them to where they really want to open up but they just don't know how you know um i left when i saw you with someone so i, I feel like this person feels like you may not be attracted to them you know they feel like you may be starting something with someone else so they're like pulling back a little bit 
but they're so attracted to you, you know, that there's this magnetic connection with Pisces and Pisces, you know, you have that magnetic connection to where, you know, your vibration is so high that you attract people into your space. You attract people into your vibration. And I, I feel like that's kind of what's going on, Pisces, because this person, you know, when they see you with someone else, it may strike jealousy. It may strike, you know, a feeling of they're not worthy or they're not good enough. Or maybe you don't even see them. You don't even know that they exist, you know. So I feel like that's confident issues within this person. Very interesting. Let's get um, some love cards for Pisces. We'll get some love messages. What's going on with this person for Pisces? What's going on with this person for Pisces, please? We have the hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive. working on it okay yeah I feel like this person is maybe sabotaging their own um, ability to get your attention you know and I feel like they're actively working on it I really do I feel like they're um, trying to build up their confidence to kind of approach you to let you know how they feel to let you know that they're interested um, but I do feel like they they are sabotaging themselves. Okay, we have many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So I I feel like this person they do feel like you have many options. I I feel like they feel like you are so attractive that you just attract people to you. So I, I feel like this person may think that you're attached. They may think that you don't have time for them, that they'll just be like the third wheel or, you know, something of that nature. But I feel like, you know, this person has some issues here. Yeah, they have some issues. Broken heart. They're deeply hurt. They feel lost. Grieving, mourning. Yeah, I feel like this person's been hurt various times in the past. That's the reason why maybe their confidence is so low. Um, that they're not able to really communicate with you. I feel like they really want to. They really, really want to. But they just need a sign from you that you're at least a little interested, you know, before they open up and give you any part of their time. Because I feel like there's there's something holding them back that has to do with things that happened to them in their past. Okay. It's really intense. We have trust. So I feel like this person may have some trust issues. They may have a inability to trust due to some past situation. We have forgiveness. Hmm. And we have perfect timing. They're waiting for the perfect time. They're waiting for the perfect time. And if you believe, if you believe in them and give them some sort of sign, like I said, Pisces, I feel like they're going to come close. They're going to, you know, approach you, make you an offer, you know, invite you out, you know, have conversation. But I feel like at this moment, they're just standing in the background. They're just standing there, you know, watching you watching how you 
approach your situations, watching how you interact with people. I feel like they're just in this observation stage where they're just, you know, watching things from a distance. Okay. Um, there may be some kind of situation that maybe you have to forgive or they have to forgive. Um, but I do feel like this person does have some kind of trust issues. They, they do have a inability to maybe convey their emotions, their words, you know. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well, that is what I have for you, Pisces. So, if this reading resonates... Please like and subscribe, hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and take a look at this sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I do have the March readings up, so if you want to take a look at your sun, moon, rising, maybe even your Venus sign um, in the March readings, uh, that may give you some clarity. Okay, and until your next reading, Pisces, many blessings to you. Love and light.